Welcome to today's video, where we will be diving into the world of animation with a detailed comparison of Flip a Clip and Krita. Let's jump right into it. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We've got you guys this course from Skillshare about animating for free on iPad. Ali Animations is beginner tutorial helps you learn animation with the free iPad app, Flip a Clip. By the end, you'll become skilled at using Flip a Clip's tools, layers, and keyframes, and create a calming 2D animation with a ukulele. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses, and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. All right, now back to the video. Software Overview Flip a Clip is a popular animation app on mobile released by Visual Blasters LLC in 2012 on both iOS and Android platforms. The idea of this app comes from the old school flipbook with a modern style. Flip a Clip offers intuitive tools which are typically used by fingers or with an Apple pencil, allowing you to express your creativity and create stunning frame by frame movie animations. So, whether you are sketching, storyboarding, animating, or simply playing around, Flip a Clip can be the perfect place for you. On the other hand, Krita is an open source digital painting and image editing software that can be a terrific competitor for industry standard apps like Photoshop. It was developed over 17 years ago and is available on almost all operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and Chrome OS. It offers a wide range of advanced features and fast performance drawing tools, which we'll get into later on, making it the ideal software for many artists. Now to the comparison proper, Flip a Clip versus Krita. Starting with the UI, Krita's interface is very effective and comes with a standard modern design. On the left, we have the main toolbar that contains the brush tool, vector tool, color picker, transform tools, and selection options as well. But on the right side, we have a panel that includes layers, colors, brush presets, and tool settings. Over the tabs, you have some settings to change the brush size and opacity, and if you have a graphics tablet, you can adjust the pressure as well. Moreover, every set of elements can be shown, hidden, moved, and rearrange which allows you to easily customize your own interface experience. Before exploring Flip a Clip, it's essential to acknowledge one of the standout features in Krita's interface that distinguishes it from other art software, the pop-up palette. This innovative tool is specifically designed to enhance the artist's productivity and streamline their workflow by offering convenient access to brushes, colors, and frequently utilized tools and features. Let's take a look now at Flip a Clip's UI. Compared to Krita, the interface is so simple and clean that even a kid or a beginner with zero knowledge will get familiar with all of the icons and tools. So first you have the canvas in the middle of your screen. On the left you can see the tools palette with the big clear icons that contain brushes, eraser, lasso, fill color, and the text tool. You can touch the pen brush to get some extra options like the brush size, opacity, and color, which you can control by dragging your finger up and down. On the top right side we have some basic options like copy paste, undo and redo, and the ruler which helps you draw shapes. And and as with many animation apps, we can find the timeline at the bottom. There you can add new frames by pressing the plus button, and next to it we can find the layers and the music icon to add some effects, and finally, on the right side of the screen we have the play button. So after making a few frames you can just press it and see how things start coming to life. Uh, let's move now to the drawing tools. For many artists, having the right tool is a crucial thing to feel comfortable and make the job easier, so having the proper brush can really improve your work. Flip a Clip used to have four brushes for many years, but recently they added three more brushes including the crayon, the airbrush, and the sketch brush. Unlike Flip a Clip, Krita comes with powerful brush engines and more than 100 pro brush presets. It also supports Photoshop brushes, which means you can import your vast library. In addition to all 
all of that. Both software feature brush stabilizers that will help you achieve sharp and smoother strokes. However, Krita includes three different ways to stabilize your brush. There is even a dedicated dynamic brush tool that allows you to customize your brush even further. In terms of coloring process, with Flip a Clip you can easily choose a color from the chromatic wheel and refine its saturation and shade using the square icon. Also, you have the color history where you can find all the colors you used in your project and you can create custom palettes. Krita, on the flip side, offers an advanced color selector with stunning color palettes and supports a variety of color modes, which provides more control and options to the user. Uh, jumping now to another section where we talk about animation. Uh, we should mention that Flip a Clip is an app that was made for that express purpose, unlike Krita, which introduced animation back in 2015 after 10 years of existence as a digital drawing software. Krita has frame-by-frame -frame raster animation, which offers some major dockers that divide and guide the workflow. We have the animation timeline, which lets you preview and control your frames, the storyboard docker, which helps you keep track of your storyboards, the onion skin docker lets you see the animation you've implemented in the previous frames, and finally we have the animation curves which is used to add minor frames between the main content, also known as tweening. On the other hand, Flip a Clip comes with some basic animation features that we might find in Krita such as the onion skinning feature to simplify the animation process. We also have rotoscoping which allows you to import videos as a reference and draw over them frame by frame. And finally we have the grid lines which helps you place your elements and create cool compositions. Uh, furthermore, both apps let you add music and sound effects and support many formats such as MP3 and WAV audio files. Besides the drawing and animating tools, there are other features that we should mention, especially in Krita, which has many advanced features like a multi-grid and CXPR without forgetting that Krita is the first painting application to bring HDR support to Windows, and many other features that you will discover by yourself while using Krita. Uh, jumping back to Flip a Clip, uh, we have the timeline feature which you can turn on by choosing your project and selecting the circular icon in the bottom. After that, each adjustment on the project will be recorded and saved to your device. In terms of ease of use, any program can seem hard at first. But that's not the case with Flip a Clip. With its easy to understand interface and intuitive tools, you won't have any trouble figuring out what to do, which makes it a great tool for beginners to experiment with the frame by frame animation. On the other hand, Krita compared to Flip a Clip can be slightly overwhelming at first sight since it has more tools and features. But once you stick with it and learn the basics, Krita is actually quite easy to use. In addition to that, there are plenty of tutorials tutorials and documentation offered by Krita and also a community forum called Krita Artists where you can find help, support and many free resources. Finally, we come to the most frequently asked question, how much do they cost? Well, uh, Krita is completely free and open source and doesn't have any enterprise plans. Uh, it, it is made by artists who wanted to make affordable art tools for everybody. However, there is an option to support the development through donations. Meanwhile, Flip a Clip is also a free app, but it offers some premium features with a lifetime payment that costs $4.99. However, you can buy them separately much cheaper for $1 each, uh, which I think is a brilliant marketing move because you can download it for free, see how how awesome it is and then you get the paid version. The premium pack involves many features such as removing ads and watermarks and adding more layers, adding your own audio, creating canvas size up to uh, 1920 by 1920, customizing onion settings and many many more. All right, uh, that's the end for today. So which is the best software for you? Uh, as with anything, they both have pros and cons. Uh, therefore, the best decision is to try them both and see which one meets your needs. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys very soon. Take care.